sixth album of mine was uh, definitely uh, the folk music police were out after me immediately. Uh, but, uh, you know, I was raised with a lot of different kinds of music. I was interested in a lot of different kinds of music. I grew up singing in school choirs and church choirs and opera choruses and uh, listening to all kinds of things. So it's not too surprising that I had started listening to Jacques Brel in those early years. and. Uh, On my on my sixth album, I I got involved with a, a wonderful orchestrator named Josh Rifkin, who had been recording uh, things for Lecter. He he re refingered the Scott Joplin songs and started playing them and made recordings of them. And besides, he recorded Haydn and Schumann and Telemann and so on for none none such records. And he was a friend of mine, so. I asked him to be involved with this uh, eclectic departure from the the uh, folk music uh, scare, and uh, <laughs> and my producer Mark Everson and I were re really always out there somewhere, looking over the edge, you know. And uh, so on that album are things like uh, "You Gentlemen Can Watch While I'm Scrubbing the Floor," and I'm scrubbing the floor while you're gawking. Maybe once you tipped me and it made you feel swell. In a song from the pre, pre Second World War German theater before uh, Bertolt Brecht and uh, Kurt Weill had to escape. You know when when uh, Kurt Weill came to this country, he wrote things like, "My ship has sails that are made of silk." But in those days, they were writing. Uh, Three Penny Opera together, and so that song was on there, and uh, the music from the Marat Saad was there. Um, Marat, we're poor, and the poor stay poor. Marat, don't make us wait anymore. We want our rights, and we don't care how. We Revolution now. They must have been listening to that stuff over there in the Middle East, right? And uh, you know, the 60s, um, this week I think is the celebration of the anniversary of the, um, the Freedom Riders from 1964. And I went to Mississippi too and traveled with Fannie Lou Hamer in, a, in, a, in an integrated uh, VW van. Can you imagine in the 60s, you know, when we saw cars or trucks coming down the road, we weren't, we didn't, we're, we didn't know whether we should be happy that the gun racks were full or empty. Uh, it was, uh, and Fannie Lou Hamer was, you know, I'd go to these, uh, these little uh, towns all through Mississippi and, and uh, get out at a tiny neighborhood where people were hiding in their houses and she'd come out on, the, on some dirt, uh, lawn of a uh, front yard of somebody and a few houses around and she'd just open up her mouth and she she'd sing this little light of mine i'm gonna let it shine i'm scared to death this little light of mine i'm gonna let it shine and already the three boys had been killed and their bodies had been found and uh, people were scared to death but they came out and they sang with her and they went down to to uh, register to vote. I mean, it was an amazing time, an amazing time. I, it's hard to imagine all those things that happened in the 60s. So anyway, on this album was the Marat Saad and um, the Beatles song, and of course, the first songs of Leonard Cohen because he came to see me that year, 1966. And uh, he said, he came to my door and he said, I, I, I don't know, I can't play the guitar and I can't sing and I don't know if this is a song. And then he sang me Suzanne. <laughs> and uh, I said, well, you can sing and you can play the guitar passively well. I mean, I've heard much worse. And, uh, and I said, this is a song and I'm recording it tomorrow. So that also went on this album. And I bring that up because 
These were, I believe, the first time I ever recorded Jack Brown. But this one I had practiced, but I hadn't recorded it. But I had sung it, and it was another one of those instances where I didn't know I had been on the Johnny Cash show. I mean, you really could have fooled me. So my, an old engineer of mine sent me a tape that he just absconded to Australia with, and it was this song that we'd rehearsed and I had sung on the Johnny Cash show. They hold each other's hands, they walk without a sound. Down forgotten streets, their shadows kiss the ground. Their footsteps sing a song that's ended before it's begun. They walk without a sound, the desperate one. Just like the tiptoe moss, they dance before the flame. They've burned their hearts so much that death is just a game. And if love calls again, so foolishly they run. They run without a sound, the desperate one. I know the road they're on, I've walked their crooked mile. A hundred times or more I drank their cup of bile. They watch their dreams go down behind the setting sun. They watch without a sound the desperate one. from your 